Okay, out here in the winter, you gotta carry a chain or a very good tire. There's lots of mountain around here. It's the Rockies to go to Vancouver and it's the Rockies to go to Calgary. So I'm kind of I'm kind of of nestled in the middle of the of the Rockies right here. Okay, here that's the road, that road that goes down here, right from the corner here, going south. I'm going east right now. Going south, it's the Nitox. Uh, border for the Canada US. It's only open during the day Okay, and here one of the farmer I know that I work for uh, Bought that land here Nobody ever planted anything here. He was just desert and used for hay and uh, the Farmer I know bought uh, all that land and we planted back there. You can see we planted apple so there's a lots of septic about this area here because it's the low ground and in the spring until June when the flower are on the apple there's there's a frost sometimes so if the frost come at the same time than the the flower the blossom then you're going to lose most of your crop or you're going to lose all your crop or a percentage so every farmer that I'm talking to they're a little bit septic about about this area here. I would assume that he got it for a good price because uh, out here the land is extremely expensive. Up there there's a vineyard. For the grape it's okay here. Up there there's a vineyard. I worked there a couple years ago. It's a new vineyard. And uh, so in the next few years we're gonna see if the lower ground here we still have all of that to plant. That's gonna probably be next spring. But uh, we're going to see in the next few years if the, if the f frost will affect the apple.